What's up guys, it's Rustin from RossmerTech.com and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to turn your 3D printer into a network device that you can remotely access and print without having a computer directly connected to it. I know you guys out there are pissed off who have to use a computer all the time when they want to print something. Now you don't have to, you can remotely access your uh, 3D printer using a Raspberry Pi and a software called Octi, or I'm sorry, OctoPi. And OctoPi basically connects uh, your Raspberry Pi to your printer and using a wireless uh, dongle so you can connect to your Wi-Fi network it it acts as a network device and you can log in remotely access the OctoPi and manipulate your 3D printer so you can do prints you can you can do anything your printer could be across the room from you as long as it has Wi-Fi single you can use your desktop computer your iPad your phone to remotely access to that printer and uh, start printing all right guys, so you're gonna need a 3D printer. I'm using the Robo 3D R1. I've had it for a while. It's only an $800 printer. You can use any 3D printer. If you guys are looking for one, I recommend the Robo 3D R1. It's only $800 again, and I'll leave a link in the description. You're also gonna need a Raspberry Pi. I recommend using a Raspberry Pi 2. I'm using a Raspberry Pi 2. With the Raspberry Pi 2, you'll need a wireless or Wi-Fi dongle so you can uh, remotely access your Raspberry Pi from anywhere. And you could also connect a uh, webcam to your OctoPi if you want. The software allows you to uh, do time lapses. All right, so now we're gonna download a few things starting with the OctoPi uh, image. Downloaded links will be in the description. And uh, once you finish downloading that, we're going to download something called Win32 Disk Imager. It's a software used to burn that image we just downloaded onto our SD card. And our final piece of software we're going to download is something called Putty. Putty is a software that is used to remotely access your Raspberry Pi and we're going to use this a lot. So download Putty, links will be in the description. All right, make sure your SD card is connected to your micro SD card reader and we're going to open up Win32 Disk Imager, open it up and uh, select your image you want to burn onto the SD card. Click write. It should take about 10-15 minutes to write. Once it's finished writing, then we're gonna come back. All right, so now we're gonna open up the drive we just burnt our OctoPi image to. Open up the drive, search for the file called OctoPi Networks, and open up the file using uh, Word. So right click, open up with Word. Then you're gonna scroll down until you see uh, WPA and WPA2. Then we're gonna edit this file so that we can connect our Raspberry Pi to our Wi-Fi network. Where it says WPA, WPA2, make sure you type in your SSD and you type in your password. You're going to delete the hashtags next to these three and uh, we're gonna hit save. Now we're gonna connect a few things to the Raspberry Pi. First connect that dongle. Then we're going to connect the USB cable from the printer to our Raspberry Pi. And, and finally, we're going to connect our webcam so that we can do some time lapses. All right, so now let's power up the Raspberry Pi. Now with the Raspberry Pi powered up, we assume that it connects successfully to our wireless network. Now we need to figure out what's the network IP address. To do that, all you have to do is open up command or you can in search type in CMD. While there, you could type in ping, P-I-N-G, hit space. Then you could type in O-C-T-O-P-I-Octo-Pi, hit enter then it should give you the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Memorize this IP address because we're gonna use it later on. All right, so now that we got our Raspberry Pi IP address, we're going to open up Putty, type in the IP address of the Raspberry Pi, hit open, click on yes, type in the username and password. Pi is the username and Raspberry is the password. Now, once that's finished, you're gonna type in sudo space raspy hyphen config, hit enter. Now hit enter again to expand the file system so we can use the entire SD card. Then we're going to overclock the Raspberry Pi. Click on overclock and uh, scroll down to medium, hit enter. Now we're gonna hit tab a few times till finish is highlighted. Then we're going to hit enter again. Now the, now the Raspberry Pi should be restarting. All right guys, we're almost done. So now we're going to open up our browser, type in the IP address of our Raspberry Pi. It's gonna prompt us for a username and password, create one. Then on the right, you're gonna make sure you click on the button that says keep access control enabled. All right guys, so now we're gonna sign in. So click on sign in, type in your username and password, hit okay. Then you should be prompt for an update. Click on yes, let it update. Once the update is complete, it should restart. And now it's time to power up our 3D printer. Now we're gonna make sure we're locked back into our OctoPi and we're going to connect to our 3D printer. Again, we turned it on. Now we can connect to connect. Make sure you keep everything default and auto, then click on connect. 
you'll know you're connected when you see the machine state operational and the bottom you should be able to see the actual temperatures of the printer all right guys so now we're going to set our target temperature for our hotbed and our extruder to do that select whether or not you want abs or pla then click on set for both so they should start heating up right now all right guys we're gonna need some g-code to get to the printer to get the g-code you can use a slicer like cura cura is a free program i'm gonna leave a link in the description all Cura does is open up an SDL file and you can slice it and save the G-code anywhere you want. And we're gonna use that G-code to upload to the printer. All right guys, now we're gonna upload the G-code by clicking upload, selecting your G-code, then click on open. All right, now we can click the control tab to view our webcam. And when we're ready, we can click on the print button to start the print. All right guys, so as you can see, the printer has started printing and we successfully remotely accessed our 3D printer using a Raspberry Pi and OctoPi. So you don't need a computer to connect to your 3D printer anymore if you wanna do any prints. You can just do it remotely and it's fast and easy. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys like this video, please give me a like. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel. I'm Rasim from RossMertech.com and thank you for watching. <laughs>